Understanding embryo development is a major topic, especially if you're a biologist trying to make a cladogram, because we can very readily see many key distinctions between organisms and species that help us classify life. And so what I'm going to do in this video is walk through one of the biggest distinctions that a biologist can make when studying an embryo, and that is determining whether or not it is a protostome or a deuterostome. And to begin with, if we first look at the eight cell stage pretty early on after the fertilized zygote, there is a big, huge difference. And that difference is the type of cleavage that we see. And in protostomes, we observe something referred to as spiral cleavage. And what that spiral cleavage refers to is the fact that you've got your uh, top quadrant of uh, cells will rotate and it will form this kind of asymmetrical shape up top and because of that the cells are called determinant so if we were to number these cells we know that cell one for instance would go off and form a digestive tract or something like that what's interesting about deuterosomes however is that they have something referred to as radial cleavage and the cool thing with radial cleavage is the fact that because we see these nice planes of symmetry along the object, uh, that is indeterminate. And with indeterminate cleavage, what that means is that these cells can go on to become any cell type. They can become uh, and join any tissue. And so deuterostomes do have that very nice feature. And uh, it is very important to make a note of this eight cell stage because once we get enough cells and um, enter the blastula phase, uh, they both look very similar to each other. And the only next difference we're going to find is during the coelom formation. The coelom is the body cavity where internal organs will be stored. And in that case, what we see is for protostomes, if I was to draw a line through this, with protostomes, we're seeing that the coelom uh, splits from the mesoderm. And, uh, sorry, one sec. And uh, so continuing, uh, this is different from what we see in deuterostomes because with deuterostomes, we see our uh, coelom formation occurring within the endoderm, this yellow tissue layer. And the uh, instead of forming uh, and splitting off from the endoderm, what we see with deuterostomes is this uh, endoderm layer beginning to infold. And this infolding will eventually become the coelom. And so this is another key distinction if you were to take a cross section um, of an embryo. And finally, and this is the most intuitive difference between protostome and deuterostome embryos is where the mouth develops. And in the case of protostomes, if you break down and look up the Latin, proto means first and stome means mouth. And so what that means for protostomes is that uh, the mouth will first develop. Sorry. Hopefully you can see the Latin. Um, and so uh, what we find here is if we were looking at a protostome, the mouth will be uh, where the blastopore once was, and then the anus will form afterwards in a protostome. And it is completely opposite the case with deuterostome embryos. Uh, with deuterostome embryos, deutero means second, so that means that the anus forms first and then the mouth forms second. And so this is a key distinction that we see between protostomes and deuterostomes in embryo development. Uh, I hope you guys find this useful. Let me know if you have any questions and thanks for watching.